Louis, what's your what's your thoughts on a little draw? All the play for next week in second leg. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, we're disappointed in there um, that we didn't win. But you know, nil nil away from home to take back to Oriel. Um, yeah, we're excited again, but obviously we're all disappointed in there. Chances for both teams. They probably they probably the majority, and we'd better to play. But we had a couple of good ones earlier on. The keeper made two really good saves in the, the first 20 minutes. Yeah, obviously we had two big chances early on, and then for the first half, what we dominated the ball. Obviously on turnovers, yeah, we spoke about it in there that we've given up a couple of chances, um, but that's an easy thing to rectify. But um, that'll be fine for next week. And obviously, yeah, back at Oriel, back at home, back with the home fans. Thought the fans were excellent today. Uh, drove us right onto the end, and yeah, we almost nicked one at the end as well. Um, Sun obviously plays a big part. Obviously, not to have excuses because it's for both teams, but yeah, I think we're all to play for at Oriel. What was it like getting in a half time? Because you could even see the jerseys. You know, they're just stuck to you. It was it was difficult, especially in the first half. Yeah, as obviously as everyone understands, now 30. I don't know what it was, 32, 33 degrees. So um, for most of us, it would have been probably the hottest we've played in. Um, even for me here, it would have been the hottest I've played in because I'm never here in July, obviously. Um, so yeah, really tough conditions for both teams. But I thought it was a good game, and I thought yeah, we dominated the ball. But you know. Uh, more quality in the final third and then sharpening up at the back as well. I think, you know, we're all ready to go next week. It's important to go home with a clean sheet though, isn't it? Yeah, obviously we're happy with a clean sheet, but like you said there, we gave up a couple of chances, which we'll be a bit frustrated with. Obviously, I was fault for one or two chances there, you know, but me and Boyle, we have a good relationship where we can, and Hayden and the rest of the boys as well, have a good relationship where we talk it through, obviously, and uh, it doesn't happen again. We have a brilliant record at Orioles. So, you know, if we were told beforehand you, you go back to Orioles, win the game, you're true. I think we would have taken that. Yeah, I think... We, in there, we were obviously saying that you know we're going back home with a nil-nil draw, so we win the game at Oriel, which we're comfortable in doing. So we're happy with that. For yourself, was it nice coming back? Strange coming back and playing with a with a club in your in your country? Yeah, obviously, I thought I'd played my last game here. I had yeah. my farewell in March because the stadium's obviously been rebuilt. Um, so yeah, it was obviously weird playing one last game here again, uh, and for club. Yeah, it was weird again. I said to one of the boys after the game playing against him, it was just weird him playing up front yeah. against him. You know, normally I'm with him and. So yeah, it was a bit odd, but um, again, something that um, is going to happen in football. Yeah, be nice to be sending them a couple of messages next week if you dump them out. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah I hope we do, and then I hope it's a nice message I'm sending. <laughs> and if we do saw a draw, I won't be. Uh, I'll be turning the phone in airplane mode, but no, nah, that won't be happening. Good stuff. Thanks, Luke. Nice one. Cheers. Cheers.